This is my ZT K88, and I'm going to upgrade the firmware from Android 6 to 7. The very first thing I need to do is enable developer mode, and you do that by pressing the build number in settings about tablet. Sorry. From settings, you'd be up here. And you scroll to the bottom and you go about tablet and you need to enable developer options so go about tablet just click build number over here a few times and then you get developer options go into developer options over here and you turn on developer options and you scroll down till you get to OEM unlocking and by default it's set to off you need to turn it on and enable now you can go through the process of copying uh, your firmware file to an SD card and go into recovery so I'm going to shut down my tablet where the volume buttons are down here This is the SD card slot over here. So I've copied the update zip file from where they have it. Let me show you where it's at. On XDA forms, you can find it for the K88. And you need this file over here. So the very first one on Google Drive, when you click that link, it has the Android 7 updates here. You just click over here and you do a download. The instructions here, let me read it to you. Don't mention the beginning steps about uh, doing the OEM unlock. But you need to do that first, or maybe it does, I don't know. I, I wasn't reading it well. Um, but this is a step is you'll copy that file in the case on forms sd xda they say that you need to unzip the file and copy update.zip into the what do you call it, sd card this is my SD card which I put in. So let's say I have this this file. I need to right click and unzip it or extract all. And then it gets this folder over here. And just click into it until you get to the update.zip and copy that file into your root folder of your SD card over here. So I can delete this so you can see. I've already copied the file over. But you can see over here is update.zip. And it's ready to go. So I'm going to insert into my tablet and hopefully I can update mention again the slot here's the buttons Gosh, it's a little difficult so you plug it into there like that push it in all the way here's the fun part so it took me like five minutes to do this but this is the volume up, this is the power button, and if everything is off, press and hold the power. It's not. I'm going to turn it off. Press and hold power, press and hold volume up. So it's a little tricky. I'm going to use the volume up, volume down to go to apply SD card over here. I'll let go. And then it lets me select the file. If I, if I go back, if 
if I just let go of the volume key, it just reboots the tablet, and it was is a unfortunate reboot issue. Okay, so use the volume keys to go up and down, and I'm gonna press the power for update zip. And it's going through it. That's it. Super simple. I'm gonna let it go do its thing for a while. Hopefully there's no errors. I'll come back later and we'll see. It's 11.25 right now. It's been about five minutes since this is what it shows so far. Finished after five minutes. It says script succeeded. And Let's try rebooting now. Hopefully it reboots. And I'm good to go. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to factory reset it, so... That's a negative, but... It is what it is. I doubt anyone's going to watch this video, because it's such an old thing, and uh, I had to watch a different video just to finish this update, which I'll put in the description. Just waiting for this thing to finish. It's probably taking longer than usual because of the update. took a while, it took about five minutes for it to boot up from this update, so it was stuck on the ATT logo for five minutes. So it finished and let me go go through the initial setup and show you which version I'm running now. Moment of truth, going into settings, scrolling to the very bottom, about tablet is 7.1.1, yay, I was originally at 6.01. And there's a video out there that mentions how you can do it, the update without the ATT software update. This is just a non tutorial. This isn't really a tutorial. It's just, no one's going to watch this video, anyways, but just wanted to make it. It was supposed to be easy. It took me about 30 minutes to do.